I'm back. So as promised, uh, and well, actually, before I get there, thank you for anyone who may be viewing this video. My name is Andrea and welcome to my YouTube channel. So as promised in the previous video, um, I am going to, in this video, I'm going to be trying out and wearing the latest Chanel foundation. And I'm going to be using, I'm going to try my best and see how maybe combining both of these two highlighters from the latest Pat McGrath Bridgerton collection, how it turns out. So let's start with the foundation. I really like this foundation. I, it's, be, it's sold at Ultra Beauty. The retail price is $70. I know some of you may complain and say that that's uh, rather expensive for a foundation. But if anyone out there, if you have a Pat McGrath foundation, which is $68, this is only $2 more. So it's not a big it's not a very big difference so this is only like two dollars more so um this is very pretty i went to ultra beauty and i think this is the shade i hope they gave me the right shade i think it is but this is shade br 132 and it has a pump as you can see br 132 i don't know if you guys can see it this is on the deeper, darker shade range of this foundation. I definitely wanted to try it out before I purchased it because <laughs> if anyone knows, the undertones is not stated for any of these foundations. So according to the instructions, you you put a pump on your hand and then you're supposed to dip your, like use your fingers and pat it outward or something like that. So let's get started. Let's see how this turns out. So let me start with one pump. And this is supposed to lead to um, buildable coverage. So I'm going to do this first. I'm just curious. Actually, this is looking rather nice. And I didn't even take the whole um, pump. I still got some left. Ooh, okay. This is rather nice, okay. So I'm going to take a little bit more of this. I'm going to definitely use a brush for around the nose area, the eye area. And that's typical for me. Oh, I am really liking this. This is looking rather nice. And I still got more of the pump left. Whoa. Wow, okay. I'm really liking this. Wow, this is really nice. And this is only one pump, guys. One pump. And this is looking nice on my complexion. Just putting some on my neck. I shouldn't even have put my chain here, but whatever. I'm going to work with it. Still got a little bit left. Just gonna put some under the on the eye area. And I always put highlight on my eye area because of the darkness there anyway. Wow, this looks pretty darn good. Oh, this is really nice. What do you guys think? I really like this. 
and it's real and it does feel lightweight and it's like it looks like skin that's the i'm all for foundations that gives you a natural look especially giving you the appearance of skin like of a skin like it's a skin like foundation so now um let me get one of my pat mcgrath concealers uh, i'm not gonna um what you call it i'm not gonna brighten my eye area i'm just gonna use the shade that closest match my complexion let me get my um concealer brush and i'm just gonna put it where co more coverage is needed let me see how this looks how this matches with this foundation I'll just put a little bit around my lips just align my lips a little bit better <laughs> okay so that's pretty much set okay this is looking rather nice oh I am quite pleased and I'm looking in the vanity mirror it also looks nice too yeah, I like this. I like this better than the Charlotte Tilbury. This is really nice. I'm just blend this a little bit more here. And it, and it actually looks nice with the Pat McGrath concealer. Whoa. Okay, okay. Wow. I'm going to put a little bit more concealer here around the nose area. This looks really nice. So you guys get a closer look. Whoa, okay. This is a beautiful finish. Once again, this is shade BR132. And I'm just looking at my vanity mirror. And this matches my complexion nicely too. Wow, this is a really nice foundation. And I really like using my fingers. And typically, I'm a person that hate to use my fingers to apply products. Um, but if I have to, just if I have to, I'll do it. And this really was nice. And it was only one squirt. You guys saw it for yourself. One pump. And then, of course, I just put concealer where needed. Okay, I'm going to lightly powder my face. I'm going to come back. And let's get to these highlighters. I'm back. So I put on some brown bronzer. I put some blush on my cheeks. Um, I'm wearing the Pat McGrath paradise venus blush one of my favorite blushes i love pat mcgrath blushes and um actually let me just put a little bit okay so now let's get to these highlighters so i'm thinking i'm gonna use the incandescent gold first i was thinking about using a brush but i think i'm gonna use my finger so let's see. Oh, this is so gorgeous. <laughs> Look how gorgeous this looks. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. Now let's do the um the other side. Oh, this is gorgeous. Now, let me see. Um, I'm going to wipe my finger, and I'm going to just test it out a little bit. And, um, oh, shoot. I'm sorry, guys. I'll be right back. I have to make a quick call. Sorry about that, guys. I had to make a quick phone call. So, now on to the Extreme Gold. 
this how this looks so pretty so pretty so let's see how this looks let me see i'm gonna try to combine it let's see and i may wipe my finger actually this took over the other one but it's still very pretty It's just still very pretty. Well, I'm sure you can let, um can use these two. I just probably done it the wrong way, but they both look pretty. At least you guys have an idea as to how beautiful it looks. So you see how the other one looked by itself, and then you see how this gold one looks very, very pretty. You guys see and I'm not gonna put this on my nose I'm gonna put the other one let me wipe my finger and just put um, some highlighter on my nose the bridge of my nose area just put a little nice glow on my nose very pretty highlighter very nice so i'll be back i'm just gonna put on some jewelry and i'm gonna do my hair Ta -da! so this is my finished look for today oh i love pat mcgrath products i recommend both the eyeshadow palette and the beautiful highlighters and i excuse me and most of all i highly recommend the chanel foundation this is so nice it feels so lightweight on the face i really like the thin formula consistency of this versus the charlotte tilbury one which has much of a thicker consistency that's just me that's just my preference it definitely i feel that it looks skin like which is what i've prefer when it comes to my foundations i do like matte foundations but i usually would wear matte if i'm for a special occasion or something like that um and it, it and it definitely this is a nice shade i feel it matches my complexion pretty well of course i don't know the longevity because um i'm actually not going outside today i was gonna go outside to ulta beauty but i'm gonna save that for tomorrow when my son's in school um so Okay, so this is the this is the mother look, and I really am quite pleased with the Pat McGrath Bridgerton palette as well as the highlighters. Um, and I hope you anyone who viewed these videos, I hope you like and enjoy them. And like I said in the previous video, if you did like and enjoy, and if you have not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. It will definitely help build my um my community and i would love for you to be a part of my community thank you everyone and i hope everyone's enjoying their weekend god bless bye